I am back. It is getting late. It is past 8 o'clock. I know I'm going to stop talking about around 7 when the sun comes up and I'm going to finish. And I was talking about Prophet Noble Drew. When I let him in, he took me on the internet and he showed me a picture of him and Marcus Garvey. He said we were best friends. Not only did he show me that, he began to show me other things. And then years later, when I am talking to him, he said there is something new on the internet you need to see. And I go, and it is a picture, uh, I mean, a, a letter from Marcus Garvey to Prophet Noble Drew. They were the best of friends, but now I learned I was 23, I was, I was like 22, possibly going on 23, because I met my Abba when I was 24, when I learned of Marcus Garvey, but no one ever says anything about Prophet Noble Drew. You tell me about Marcus Garvey, but not Prophet Noble Drew. Why? Because you do not have that knowledge. Why? Because those who do live by the sword, who taught us this little nasty motherfucker here, they kept that knowledge from us. They only let us know so much knowledge, and then they take the rest. Now, let's see what else he is saying. This might be my last um, video for today. If these motherfuckers do not give me what I want, I have demands. They know what my demands are. I will be on here, and I will bust video after video after video and it will show you these invisible motherfuckers and it will allow you to know not believe the information I give you if you go and study it it will allow you to know the invisible motherfuckers and when they begin to perpetrate and simulate and men and manipulate the people around you you will know just sit back and and be as though you are watching a movie and you will see the same things repeat over and over and over in your house. The same things will repeat because they are programs. I mean, they may come in with different clothes. Say someone is going to argue or they are going to bicker. It may, the argument may be different. The argument, still there's an argument. The bickering may be different. They may be bickering about something different, but still there is a bickering. Arguments and bickering in your home is confusion and chaos. Who brings that about? The Neanderthal thinkers who have taught my people that those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. That is a lie. Niggas is still living. The police, they kill our people. Those who bond so-called Black White Street. They live to have children, to teach their children to keep this lie going. And their children keep the lie going in secret. They learn these things in secret. Some of their children don't like the bullshit, so their children come out and they tell us. Not to use violence, guns, or any weapons. Because Jesus said, those who live by the sword will die by the sword. And Jesus is a sad motherfucker to tell this lie. To prepare the hearts of Americans to rebel. I am not telling you that things, some of the things she is saying is real. But she is also giving out a lot of disinformation. A lot. Here in the word hearts is the word ears. E-A-R-S. So they are using Little Wayne, using neuro-linguistic programming, and they are also showing you pictures. To prepare the ears of Americans to rebel. Re is to do it over. If you are going to rebel, then you need to be doing it over. Re means to repeat. There are two threes also. Not only that, B E O is the God of Hell. Bell. Hells, bells. That's why you, the Catholic Church always rings a bell. And when the Catholic Church rings that bell, it is also a form of mind control that will wake up the zombies. I know, I used to live in an area where they rang the bell. And I knew if I wanted to do anything, if I needed to go to the clinic, if I needed to go to the store, anything, I do my stuff early. 
because around 10, 11, they are going to ring that bell. The Catholic Church is going to ring that, that goddamn bell. And next thing you know, the zombies are woke. They are outside. There is chaos. There is confusion. And there are sirens. Yes, I noticed that. They have sensitized me. So now my senses has eyes. And I can see them. And me can see them. Or they will desensitize you. So that you cannot see it. You will not remember. They will take your memory. This is why you see many videos. And there again. See they know how to keep themselves alive. In videos it's still neural linguistic programming. You are looking at someone else's mind. You are looking at someone else's mindset. And sometimes we don't even know what is behind the mindset. The invisible things IES is in your videos. Other things are too, like IDs. But I'm going to leave that one alone. But here's Sam. It's Sam. So they still put themselves there. Sam. Uncle Sam. No church in the wild. Hmm. There should not be a church any fucking where. On your church. If you have a steeple, go tear that motherfucker up. And I bet you will find a tower. Why do you think that the melanated preachers now have become pedophiles as the pink preachers? Remember the Kinsey syndrome and how things were played out. These things were not even on um, a tower. They were not even using technology. They were using neuro-linguistic programming. Now, they have put together neuro-linguistic programming and the towers. And Timothy Leary was the first to do this. But now they are bigger and powerful. His name is Timothy. Covert Tim. T.I. Military. And then his name is Leary. There is the alpha leader of what? E.A.R. For your ear. They come in their names. Illuminati wants God. I want to know if she's going to read this or not. I don't know. So I'm going to read it. It says Illuminati wants God out of America. Didn't he say a godless place already? He told you that America is godless. This is the most godless place I have ever known. I have ever visited. I have ever come to. It is so fucking godless on this earth. But yet. This is the number one word. You would think the or maybe two would be the number one word. This is the number one word. People speak this word more than anything in the goddamn world. So now, the Illuminati wants God of America. That's a motherfucking lie. They want to keep him out. That's why he's in my face right now. Neurolinguistic program. And anarchy to begin. Well, anarchy has already begun. What do you mean? They want God out in anarchy beginning. Well, everyone is God. God, 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 God. You are a Christian. You are a Muslim. You are this, you are that. Still, there is God. Your God does not even have a name. Now, you want to give it a big G? Like that means something? This is a fucking title. It has characteristics. Go and research and learn the characteristics and begin to practice the characteristics in your everyday life. Then you will become Psalms 126. Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Whoever the Most High is, I choose to call him Yute Waife. But he is not going to come and help me because he is not 3D, although he somehow I am 3D. I don't get into all of that. I don't give a damn about a Big Bang Theory. I am here today. That's all the fuck I care about. I don't give a fuck who um, created me either. But it was not no Jesus, and it was not no God. Because God is a title and Jesus is a lie. I prove that. So now, so, so somehow the Illuminati wants, these, wants this out of America, yet it keeps putting it in my face. That's a lie. Anarchy has begun here a long time ago. 
People do not know that slavery was anarchy. To bomb Black Wall Street, to kill Prophet Noble Drew, and to keep killing us and killing us and killing us, that it to begin? Wow. She is really lost in this world, isn't she? The church means the Christians, the CIA, and the wild means a chaotic world. Yes, it does. In the word wild, you have ID and you also have IL short for them and the W I can go for we. You know, or Y, like Wi Fi. So now your world, your word, it's on Wi-Fi. Hmm. I just don't get it. This is sounds so stupid to me. That someone once got out of America, yet they keep putting it in my motherfucking face every day. What's a God to a non-believer? I am not a non-believer. I do not need to even deal with this word. What's a God to a non-believer? So none, that means you have no beliefs. In a sense of a way, I guess I am. I have no beliefs. I have no lies that have been told to me by them forever. Eve is not my parent. As they say, she is the mother of all. She is not the mother of me. I was created in Genesis 5 and 2. I am one of the Adams that is female. She is not my mother. She is the mother of all evil. A white bonded woman was taken from an atom. Now, a non-believer does not go around in their lies that they have done forever. And there's the word B E B B lies forever. Hmm. So what is a God to a non-believer? I will tell you. Now I see that this word means that I a non-believer is someone who has no beliefs, whether they believe yes or believe no, they have no beliefs. That is me. I deleted that bitch because it was chaos. It was just lie to me. Just like Jesus lied to them. I just knew Yahweh was going to come and take me out of this. And now my Abba had to come and let me know it does not work like that. And that is still the way of thinking of the Neanderthal, the thoughts that he had given me. It does not work like that. Now I know how it works. See? Who don't believe anything. It's not that I don't believe anything. I just don't have any beliefs. Either I know or I don't know. To me, there is no in-between. They are starting something here. Look. So they say, just say that they are talking about me, right? They say I'm going to go out and look like this. Are you fucking nuts? I don't have to do this. If these motherfuckers are going to come and kill me, they are going to come and kill me anyway. All of these people to me, they look like perps. Why would you go out against someone who has bombs? I don't care how many guns you have. They have bombs and they have tanks and they have these big... Um, um, uh, like electronic dogs. They're, they're, you would think that they created them an electronic dinosaur. That's how big the dogs are. They is, it, it, there is a horse, the chosen horse, but it looks like a dog and it is electronic. Then they have this other thing, it is handheld. They can throw it into your house if that's where you are. They're not going to throw, throw your house up, although they can do that and throw tear gas on you too. We have none of these things, so why would you do something so foolish as to do this? Because they're showing you that this is what you should do. If you do not believe in God, this is what you should do. These people are so fucking stupid. To to believe in, to not believe in God, to say, oh, I don't believe in God, that is to say that nigga exists. I have no beliefs about him, and I have no, no, no beliefs about him, if you know what I mean. I say, fuck God, fuck his son. They can kiss my ass with their lying motherfucking asses. They are lying. Making you sit here and go through all this damn abuse and wait on him? And I already know Inky is not coming. He said he is not coming. But yet, Inky does want his children to be gone. He cannot deal with them anymore. They have gone too far. And he knows that it is his fault. That his children have gone too far. 
Inky knows that he must step down on this earth to stop it. There are people, there are entities or what would we call ourselves if we were not flesh? Spirits? Something like that? On other planets? In Inky. It is even in the their Bible he says that he regretted that he had ever made man. It said nothing about I regret I have ever that I ever made Adams. It didn't say that. It said he regretted that he had ever made man. Mankind. They took out the word kind. Mankind. He regretted it. And now melanated people take one. The mentality of mankind. Wow. Rihanna's diamonds. Wow. I was going to talk about diamonds. Oh, look at all this fire. What the hell? Jay Z run this town? <coughs> I hope you know that Jay-Z means Jesus, right? <laughs> look at that. You know what they look like? The barbarians. You know in the movies? And they eat the the big old piece of leg, like a lens leg or something. And they just take it and eat it. And they were nasty and filthy. And they wore coats, like fur coats. Because they had come out of the caves. But they were still caveman-minded. Neanderthals. Now... They look like Neanderthals, like they want to go to war and kill other people because that's what those people did. But why do they have so many of my people in this? This is a ritual because they need our energy. If we stop, just stop, letting them pay us to do this and do that, they will fall. Of course, we will fall too, but we will be able to build again because we procreate and they breed and they breed nothing but a bunch of Neanderthal-minded children. Even when they have their children and their children are not Neanderthal-minded, they will fuck around with their children to make their children Neanderthal-minded. All of Inky's children are not Neanderthal-minded because... Inky is not Neanderthal, mind you, he just made a grave mistake. Wow. See the green? The green was for energy. They use it for energy. And there he goes. And he has this cross around his neck. My people will not let that damn cross go. And there is your avenues. See, for the caves, just use string theory and make the SAC caves. The caveman has taught him these things to write all on his face as though he is a piece of paper. No, I could not do that. Was... What did you knock down? The rabbit knocked down something or directed energy knocked it down. I do not know what it was. But it even scared the shit out of the rabbit. It did not scare me. It startled me. But it scared the shit out of the rabbit. <laughs> He ran and sat in the corner and set his feathers down. Now, as I said, my people will not give this up. This is caves. He writes on himself, when I was coming up, we could not, we were not allowed to write on ourselves. We had coloring books, we had paper, we had markers, we had crayons, we had paint. But we had all types of paper that we could write on. And if you write on your body, I did not get a whooping for riding on my body, but I think I read that Frankie J had got a belt and hit me a couple of times and then left me alone because she talked to me a long time about riding on my body, how much paper we have, and um, why am I riding on my body when we have paper to write on, so I was not allowed to write on my body. And then when I got older, I read the scripture that thou shalt not make marks upon thyself. And I was like maybe hmm, 9 or 10, maybe younger, because I actually quit reading the Bible and became like the earthlings when I was about 11. So the ashes fall, the wine spills. Hmm.
The ashes fall, the wine builds. And wine is 13 also. And then you have your Illuminati ILL. You also have pills. And everyone is only looking at maybe bombs when you say ashes fall, but no. Ashes fall from chemtrails. And they made my arms like white spots in my arms and I kept a jacket on at all times even especially when the sun was out I will be hot I carry a towel and wipe the sweat but I would not let my arm show because if my arm showed then it's like from the heat and the chemtrails that fall into my arms um would make bumps and some people would say oh those are big bumps no these bumps have been here doing this for years. This is why I wear my jacket all the time. These are not big bucks. These are Kim Swells. The I call it invisible rain when it comes down it hits my arm. So now my daughter tells me the other day that her legs are doing that. I'm going to come back and talk some more and as I say I have no one to talk to but myself. So I'm going to talk to myself. Now he wrote to me. <laughs> 